What's up guys, welcome back. It's me, Kira B, and this is not what it looks like. So usually when I have this kind of setup, it means that I've spent a whole bunch more money and I'm about to show you guys a haul of all the clothes that I've bought. But that is not the case today, as you've probably been able to tell from the title of this video. We are looking at outfits. So every time the weather goes from cold to hot or hot to cold, I kind of find it really hard to coordinate my outfits properly and I tend to feel really uninspired. I feel like I'm not the only one who goes through that and so to help us kind of break out of that uninspired cycle, I figured I'd make a video showing you guys some of my favorite outfits that I've been wearing quite a lot since the weather got warmer. So to start off, the first outfit that I want to show you guys today is actually the one that I'm currently wearing. So when I get up in the morning and my plan for the day is just to spend some time editing or something like that. Just anything around the house. I'll tend to just grab a pair of denim shorts and just any random shirt. So I wanted to show you guys this specific shirt today because it's my absolute favorite shirt. I got this in an extra large because I wanted it to be really oversized and kind of baggy so that I could wear it as a t-shirt dress if I wanted to. But if I want to, I can just tie it up and roll up the sleeves and then I've got a really flattering shirt. I absolutely love the graphic on this one. It's got Homer Simpson, but his head is a donut and I just think it looks hilarious and it makes my day every single time I wear this shirt. I also wore this shirt in the Magnolia Bakery Banana Pudding video. If you haven't seen that, that's a really good video. It's like one of my favorites. You should go watch it. Anyway, so these two pieces go really well together. It's just super casual, super chill, and just really easy to grab when I need to get somewhere or if I just want to chill and I can't be bothered picking out an outfit just to spend the day at home, I can just throw this on and I feel a little bit stylish. I feel a little bit happy because the shirt's really funny and every time I look at it, I'm like, ha, huh, Herbert Simpson's a donut. It's cool. <laughs> but yeah, super chill, super comfortable. I can wear this around the house or if I want to, I can go and meet some friends or something. You can wear this anywhere and it's pretty much good. Although I wouldn't really recommend wearing this to like dinner with the queen or anything, but other than that, you're pretty much good. Also, these shorts are my favorite, but I do have to like pin them up. Like I currently have two pegs holding my shorts up because I lost 20 kilos and these shorts went from being too small to now being way too big. So they're super baggy and I have to pin them up to make them look fitted for this video. It's like the awesome thing about weight loss that also kind of sucks. However, this skirt in particular, let's look at this one because this skirt six months ago did not fit me. It was too small and now I can fit into it and it's really exciting. I bought this skirt from IMG. -er. I don't actually remember how much it was, I'm sorry. So that's probably gonna be the case for most of these pieces. So if I do find the links for them or I know the prices, I will let you guys know. But in some cases, I'm not gonna know the prices and this is one of those cases. So really cute skirt though. It's this little gray mini skirt. It's got this kind of plaid pattern going on and I think that's adorable. And I'm really loving this cool detailing that came on it. It's got this kind of like, I think it's called a wallet chain, but it's basically just this decorative chain. It really works though. Like I love how it takes that skirt from being that simple plaid gray skirt to being next level. One thing I really love to do with outfits is kind of coordinate the colors. So in this skirt in particular, you've got white, you've got black, and you've got gray. For this particular skirt, one thing I do like to pair it with is a white long sleeve turtleneck. However, considering that it's summer, I've gone for a white crop top, which I think looks super cute with it as well. This white crop top is from Tiger Mist, and I really love this top. It goes with so much different stuff. It's actually crazy. This top is super fashionable, and it's zip up at the side, but one issue that I I am having with this top is that it's actually kind of hard to get it on because it's zip up but not the whole way. So the zip isn't actually the whole length of the top. It only goes about three quarters of the way. And then you've got this little connected bit up the top. And that wouldn't be such a bad thing if it wasn't for the fact that the top isn't actually stretchy. So when I'm putting this on, it's a real big struggle and I'm constantly feeling like I'm about to rip the top. However, once you get it on, it does look really cute and it is super comfortable to wear. You can put this top with so many different 
different things. It's crazy. I'm currently enjoying putting this top with different skirts. Maybe during winter I'd go for more leather pants or something like that and kind of dress it up a bit. But one of the joys of this top is it's got so many options. You can dress it up, you can dress it down. You can do whatever you want with this top. It just works with everything. So I really loved pairing it with this gray skirt for more of a summery vibe because I feel like wearing a turtleneck is way too hot. And that's usually the thing that I go for when I wear the gray skirt. So I feel like for this particular outfit, you could wear it to the shops, you could go out to lunch in it, or if you wanted to, you could wear it to the bar, you could go clubbing in it. Like there are so many options for this outfit. I only recently got this skirt back. I had an audition in Melbourne. So while I was down there, I also went and picked up some clothes from my apartment. And one of the things that I picked up was this gray skirt. And I'm so happy that I did pick it up because this is such a cute outfit. I've got so many different places that I can wear it, especially now that lockdown is kind of eased a bit, which is like amazing. So I'm really looking forward to wearing this. I think I'll probably wear it to go out to lunch with my friends, but it's definitely suitable if you want to go to a bar or something. This is really appropriate for that kind of a scene. So yeah. Also the sun is setting. That's what this like weird light is. It's not some fancy thing that I've put on. The sun is setting. Just so we're all on the same page. So I do have quite a few skirts in this video. You can kind of see a little bit of a trend going on here. I love skirts. Fun fact though, I used to hate skirts. I was like exclusively wearing shorts, hated wearing skirts. And now I found this appreciation for skirts that I just, I'm really glad that I did find because skirts are so cute. So next up, let's look at this one. So this one also goes with this white top as well. I bought both of these together on Tiger Mist and I'm so glad that I did because it's such a cute outfit. They're actually coordinated together in a couple of pictures of the skirt. So I decided to pick up both. This particular skirt is one of my favorites. It's this beige plaid skirt. Once again, looking at that color coordination, you've got black, you've got white, and you've got beige in there. There's a lot of different things that you can put with this, especially considering the colors are quite neutral. I usually opt for either black or white just because there's a lot of beige in there. Usually what I'll pair it with is this white top just because they look really, really cute together. I'll also go for a black top if I want to because that does look really nice as well. So either of those works. Usually I'll go for a pair of white sneakers or my black Doc Martens. I think this is probably one of the outfits that I wear more than anything else. I love wearing this just to go out to lunch or anything like that. This outfit does look quite casual but you can dress it up or down. I actually went to a bar and I did see a girl wearing this exact skirt and she looked awesome so it can be done. Alright so I reckon we might go for the last skirt just to get the skirts out of the way once again we've got that plaid pattern and once again we can color coordinate with all of these different colors so I've paired it with the same white top again because like I said this top works so well with so many different clothing items I'm loving this skirt it's the same flowy style as our beige skirt it's super comfortable and thick and that material is so soft it's really a lovely skirt for this particular outfit I've also paired it with the is leather jacket. I know this is a summer outfits video, but the nights can get a little bit cold sometimes. And if you are out to dinner with friends or anything like that, you might want to bring a jacket along just in case the weather does cool down quite a bit. So I paired it with this beautiful leather jacket that I thrifted in New York. The colors coordinate so well together, so I couldn't not show you guys this. I have to say the thrift shops in New York are actually incredible. Like you hear about how amazing it is, but seriously, it's amazing. Amazing. I found this beautiful leather jacket. It's a genuine Jets jacket. How cool is this graphic on the back? That looks so awesome. This style of jacket is actually really on trend at the moment too. That kind of like leather jacket, motorbike jacket, that kind of thing. And I am in love with this. If it wasn't so hot, I'd be wearing this jacket all the time. Something that I really do love in clothing other than adjustable straps is inner pockets. And this jacket, has inner pockets. I love inner pockets. I don't know what it is. I think it's just kind of like, I have a secret. Plus it's kind of convenient if you run out of space on the pockets on the outside, you've also got pockets on the inside. So I love this. I also love the lining. Look at that lining. Isn't that beautiful? 
It's just so nice. It fits me super oversized, but I kind of like that about it because if it is a little bit colder, it's kind of nice to just have a jacket that you can wrap around you a little bit. Plus oversized clothing is really on trend at the moment. So that definitely works for this one. I just can't get over that back though. Like how cool is that graphic? I love it. I love it. I think this jacket is so cute and it works so well with this outfit. So I wouldn't recommend wearing it on a boiling hot day, but if you're wearing it during the evening and it started to cool down, a bit and you kind of need a jacket this is definitely a great one to throw on also it's zip up at the front as well just saying but yeah i feel like this particular outfit you could wear it in so many different places i would probably go for it out for lunch or to a bar as well because once again we got a lot of options with that this whole outfit is so fashionable though i'm super excited for when it cools down just a little bit and i can wear this jacket like everywhere because i'm going to <laughs> all right so we are starting to move more into like our evening wear a little bit and one dress that i did want to show you guys is this one and the reason i want to show you guys this dress first is because once again a lot of options this dress looks quite casual but it is also definitely something that you could wear out it's from tiger mist and i'm really loving the quality of this dress tiger mist always has really great quality clothes though so it wasn't really a surprise to me when this one came and it was amazing too my favorite thing about this dress is that gorgeous little twist detailing it has at the front i think it looks really trendy and really cute and i'm really loving the gap that it has underneath to kind of separate that twist detailing from the rest of the dress. This dress tends to cling to your body a little bit more. It's that kind of bodycon style and I don't mind that because it looks really sophisticated and the fun part about this dress is because it's such a neutral color it gives you a lot of room for dressing up or dressing down depending on what kind of a thing you want to go for. I decided to pair this dress with this really cute red varsity jacket that I found. I love this jacket. I also thrifted this in New York. I think I got this in Soho. From the looks of things this jacket is for a choir and I thought that was really cool because you've got this really awesome W on the front with like some music notes through it I thought that looked awesome and I'm really loving the white of the shoulders I think that looks so cool and it really ties in with the white dress and on the back you've got even more W's and they look really cool I'm really loving that whole graphics on the front graphics on the back thing the jacket itself is quite casual so to wear this with the white dress would be a very casual outfit but I think that looks awesome if I'm just going out shopping or going out to lunch I can wear the two of these together and it's such a cute coordinated outfit but if I wanted to go for something a little more dressed up I'd probably just wear the dress by itself because it looks quite classy on its own however if it was a little bit cold and I did want to put a jacket on any kind of coat or a leather jacket is going to work really well with this one that's the awesome thing about buying dresses in neutral colors is that you've got a lot of room to kind of work with different outfits so I'm looking forward to wearing this either to go shopping shopping to go out to lunch or if I'm feeling like it I might wear this to a bar or a party or something it's super cute you've got so many options so that's why this is one of my favorites in my wardrobe speaking of red let's have a look at one of my absolute favorite red dresses that I own how cute is this dress it's this gorgeous ruched short red dress and you can actually adjust the length of this. How cool is that? I am loving the ruched trend because it gives me so much room for like customization. It's just awesome. The cool thing about being able to ruche this up and make it really short is that you also get that really cute kind of string detailing hanging down. I just think that's adorable. The dress itself is so classy. I definitely would be wearing this more as an out to dinner kind of thing. I think it's a little bit too nice to wear to like the shops or to wear to go and get lunch or anything like that. It's definitely more of like you're out to dinner, out to go clubbing, anything like that. The first time I wore this dress, I wore it out to a fancy restaurant. And I can tell you that's definitely the kind of place you want to be when you're wearing a dress like this. It looks gorgeous. It looks classy and it looks really trendy and stylish. So I'm really loving this one. Okay, let's go this one next. Guess where this is from? <laughs> Surprise, it's Tiger Mist. Are we surprised? No. It's another great quality dress though. I am absolutely obsessed with this color. I love so many things about this dress. It's not funny. It's kind of giving me Margot Robbie on Wolf of Wall Street vibes. Definitely would stand out in the crowd and I 
I'm not sorry about it. It looks beautiful. The amazing thing about this dress too is it's so easy to adjust. You've got these straps that go over the shoulders and then they come around and go through these loops. So the tighter you want the straps, the more you just pull the strings and you just tie it a little bit tighter and then it's good to go. Also the way it's adjustable means that you have this really cute back detailing as well because you can kind of tie it up in a bow and make it look extra cute if you want to. The other feature that I really like is this really cute ruching at the bottom. This one isn't adjustable, but I still think it looks really cute. That little extra detailing in the ruching turns this dress from like your standard blue dress to giving it a lot more shape. Also, I wanted to mention that the material of this dress is really soft and really stretchy. This is another dress that really clings to the body, but even though it clings, it's really comfortable to wear. You guys might actually recognize this dress because I wore it in my glam makeup look video that I did a while back. The only downside that I could find to this dress is that because the material is so stretchy, the straps tend to come down a bit, which as a result, the top tends to come down a bit, but it's not enough to like expose anything. It's just like a little bit. So if you're wearing a certain kind of bra or anything like that, you just kind of have to keep an eye on it or fashion tape it just to make sure that it doesn't start showing the bra off. Speaking of blue, we have one of my favorite dresses in my wardrobe at the moment. It's this beautiful silk slip dress and this one's from Pepper Mayo, so it's not Tiger Mist, don't worry. I am absolutely obsessed with this one. It's such a pretty color, it's such a gorgeous material and I'm really loving these beautiful flowers that it has all over the front and on the back. Also, side bonus, the straps are adjustable. So as you guys may know, because I've mentioned it like a million times in all of my different clothing haul videos, my shoulders are like really, really narrow. So straps tend to just fall off and it's so annoying. So when I find anything with adjustable straps, I have like a slight celebration about it because it's so frustrating. This is a really short dress, but I don't actually mind that because I think it's a little bit flirty and it's cute. I think this is probably not your most casual dress, but it is definitely something that you could wear out to lunch or out shopping if you wanted to if you just wanted to throw like a denim jacket over the top however I think I'll probably wear it by itself because it is really cute and does speak for itself so I don't think I really need too much to add to it also it's got this cute little split down the bottom which I thought was such a cute little extra detail to add in there it just kind of stops the dress from being like that simple plain one you've got that little split just to make it a little bit more flirty overall this is definitely one of my favorite dresses in my wardrobe I've worn this quite a few times and I just love it. It looks so cute. It's so comfortable to wear and I actually get quite a lot of compliments for it. So I'm really happy with this one. All right, so I did want to show you guys one particular play suit. One issue that I am having with this play suit is that since I've lost a whole bunch of weight, this doesn't entirely fit me properly anymore because it's actually a size 12 and I'm about a size six to eight. However, I just could not let this play suit go because it's so cute. It gives me a lot of springtime vibes, but I also really Really love wearing this during any kind of hot weather. It's got this super gorgeous lace all over it and one of my favorite things about this play suit is that it's got a white lining underneath but then the lace actually goes further than the lining so you've got that kind of contrast of like bare skin against the lace and I think that looks so cute. I love how this play suit has a kind of sweetheart neckline as well. I think that kind of adds a bit of sophistication to it. When I wear this I tend to wear it by itself but if I feel like adding a jacket to it I'll actually add a denim jacket because the denim on the white looks really, really cute. The denim jacket does give the play suit a little bit more of a casual vibe, but I don't really mind that. Plus, I don't really think this play suit could look very casual, so that denim jacket just kind of adds a little bit of color that helps to kind of contrast everything and make it look a lot nicer. I tend to wear this out to parties because it's quite dressed up and I feel like wearing it out to lunch or something is a little bit much. It does have more of a springtime vibe with that kind of floral lace on there, but I thought I would include it in this video because it's a really unique piece and I really wanted to show you guys. So yeah, there's that one. All right, by the looks of things, we're down to our last piece. So, well, pieces, should I say, because this last one is actually a matching set. This one is from Meshki. It's a matching top and skirt set. It's really tight fitting, but it looks really sophisticated. So I just had to include that in this video. One thing that really sets this outfit apart is these kind of like coin details that it has on it. I thought this looked so cool and I love how it kind of makes it into a coordinated outfit. I've worn this quite a few times and it always looks amazing and I get so many compliments for it. However, I do have an issue with the top and the issue is that the straps aren't adjustable and I know it's like clearly not every top can have adjustable straps 
but this top really actually needs it because the straps tend to be quite long and so they tend to fall off of my shoulders and even if I kind of pull the top down a little bit it's quite a low cut top so that tends to be a little bit problematic for you know not getting arrested. However, it's not a huge issue because the straps aren't falling down constantly. It's just every now and then if I move around too much, they just tend to slip off a little bit. The top is really flattering though. Like it definitely makes it look like I have a lot more boob than I actually do, which is awesome though, if that's what you're after because this top definitely does that for you. I tend to wear this outfit with either a pair of white or nude heels. Sometimes I'll go for gold, but most of the time I tend to go for either nude or white just to kind of keep the focus on the outfit. I tend to wear this outfit out to parties or more sophisticated dinners or anything like that. It's very classy looking, so it's really suited to that kind of a vibe. Overall though, this outfit is really gorgeous. So I love this one. It's one of my favorite, more sophisticated outfits to wear. So I wanted to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed. Comment down below and tell me which outfit was your favorite. I think for me, my favorite outfit was probably the green outfit just because I really love that jacket. It's so cute. It's one of my favorite jackets, honestly. So the green is definitely my favorite, but I think the beige skirt and the silky blue dress are probably tied for second place. So let me know what your favorite is down in the comments. I would love to know. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and hit that bell button so that you get notifications every single time that I post. I love you all very, very much and I will see you in the next video. Bye.